I'm back at the Pinkham Notch Visitor Center. Going up that, you can't tell, but it's a monster. Um, <clears throat> been up off and on since about 2.26 when the guy who drank the entire fifth of rum was stumbling around the room. And then some other guy, like an older guy, was up at 4 o'clock wandering around. I don't know if he was confused. Everybody was concerned about him. I think I mentioned him. Uh, but what are you going to do? You can't just hold somebody down. And he wasn't so far gone that you could call somebody. So, we'll see. Uh, Paul, the owner of the hostel, was saying that this area is absolutely filled with moose to the point where locals won't even drive after dark because they're afraid of uh, hitting one with their car. Like he said that, you know, you're not gonna get a shuttle after dark. <clears throat> Which is another good thing that I didn't push down from Osgood because I probably would have finished after dark. So there's some big giant mountains that I've already climbed and came down. That's probably Madison That might be Washington. There's some stuff on top there And you can see that one's about the same height Here we go How does this trail just keep getting crazier and crazier? I'm climbing up that right now. And I came. Make sure I don't fall off this. Up that. Nice views. Pretty sure Mount Washington's over that way. I left there at 7.47. It's currently 9.13 and I've gone 1.5 miles. This is rough. Uh, I think the climby climb part of it is over and now I'm just kind of going uphill hopefully. I mean, that's a false summit for sure. I still go way up, but hopefully not. Uh, no, more, no more actual climbing where I had to put my trekking poles away. Look at this view, man. Happy to enjoy it because this is literally all I've been waiting for since Georgia. That is Mount Washington right in the center. Let's zoom in for you. Looks different when it's not covered in clouds. The lucky few who are going over today. So this is mainly for me, I think, but the trail, um, I'm pretty sure came like that way up Mount Washington and then down that one. I don't think we went up. I think we skirted that one. And then I believe that's Madison. It came down to the visitor center. And so now we're coming up and then we'll be going off that way somewhere. First big downhill of the day. Ooh, shit. Uh, I shouldn't be filming right now. But anyway, I have to go all the way down, and then I have to go all the way up to that, and then follow this ridge line for 
eight miles. I don't know if I have to go over that last point today or not. There's, that's either the last one or there's one big one behind that that I can't see the very, on the left there. I don't know if that's the last or if there's one more behind that. But my campground is, I think it's behind that. I think I have to go over all of what you can see today. But fortunately it's down, massive up, and then ridge walk. Uh, which these ridge walks are not easy. These ridge walks are little ups and downs with rough trail and roots and mud and little ups and downs. Uh, so it's gonna be a long eight miles. It's 118, so we'll see what time I get there. Uh, maybe a mile and a half an hour. That would be three miles per two hours. Six miles and four hours. Eight miles. So I'll be there 6.30. I'll bet 6.30. Oh, it's a long day. That is the Carter Notch Hut Complex. Uh, see three, three buildings. I think the really shiny thing back there is not a building. I don't know. Anyway, that's what I just came down from. And now I'm coming back up this side. I've come up 500 feet from that water down there. And I have 971 more feet to go in the next 0.9 mile. This place is nutty, man. I would just once in my life like to see like that break off of that. And uh, obviously I wouldn't want there to be buildings in the way. Uh, but it would be pretty cool to see a big chunk of mountain fall down. Um, I told some people that I'd wave to them from over here. So I'm waving right now. Maybe they see me. I don't see them. They said they'd wave back. They're liars. Or maybe I just can't see them. I shouldn't assume they're liars. Uh, yep, it's getting hazy. I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. I only have 8.8 uh, .8 tomorrow with the first five being hard and the last three being easy. So if I can beat whatever rain comes. It's crazy hazy though. Crazy hazy. This is Mount Height, H-I-G-H-T. Elevation's like 4665, I think it said. That is, I'm trying my shirt. That is uh, Mount Washington. So it's like 6,200, I think. And then the, uh, some other ones. Pretty sure I'm headed over that and then down it to the campsite. I think Maine's up that way. Washington. That is insane. Okay. So the trail, I think it drops down here. Then it definitely goes over that and then over that one. And then you can't see, but it looks like there's a drop. And then over that peak there, that's my last peak for the day. That's 3.2 miles away by trail. And then it drops 1,200 feet to where I'm camping. And then the next day, I guess I climb over that and down it. And then down along a river for about three and a half miles or something like somebody said it's four miles really easy I looked at the map it looked like three so I'm gonna split it and say three and a half easy hike into the uh, road where the river rattle ha rattle river hostel is where I will be taking a uh, half day and a zero basically and then it'll be on northeast which is that way that's Maine way out there. Looking forward to it. Time for dinner on the AT. 
Oh, doesn't that look delightful? I am racing the sun. It's pretty. I'm about to drop 1135 feet and 1 1.3 miles, I think. So that's what I'm looking at, and that's where I'm going. Yay! I love it at the end of the day. And then tomorrow, I guess, I have one climb. I don't even know. I have no idea where I'm going. Thank you.